The views and opinions expressed in the following program are those of the hosts, guests and producers. They do not necessarily reflect the policies and position of this channel. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello mga kaganap. Welcome back to our show. And uh, this time, I am outside because uh, I'm attending an uh, intimate event. So if you can hear, uh, it's kind of noisy uh, in, in my background. But we have another exciting episode because we are going to Singapore. And uh, yeah, yes, hi Bench. I know you're out of um, out of our studio, so but. You know, it's given you an opportunity to go out. Most of the time, I'm the one out. <laughs> so, um, you know, this we would like to thank um, Mrs. World uh, Peace for giving us the opportunity to interview their um, candidates for this pageant, and also for Miss Justina for giving us the trust to be as uh, media partners of their events. Uh, so. Um, we're so glad and thankful for this opportunity and for the trust for Ganap TV. And thank you for continuously watching Ganap TV because we have so much um, um, projects and activity um, and blast for 2021. And I hope that everyone will look forward to it. So, yes, John, and we are so you know, we are so thankful to Ms. Jasina for giving us the opportunity to be one of the official media partners. Sorry guys, because we're having a, uh, a small party. It's an intimate party with the Pino Cards Foundation because uh, they're celebrating their second year anniversary. So this is supposed to be a big event, but due to the uh, current situation, and we, we are not allowed to conduct um, a group uh, or a big event, so that's why we had uh, an intimate event. So, like, paliwan ng talaga ako, di ba? You know, 
We are so excited to meet all the candidates from different sides of the world. Yeah, so we're excited to meet all the candidates and we're going to have that opportunity to interview them, Bench. So, and, and the first uh, two women that we're going to interview yeah. come from Korea and Singapore. Singapore, yeah. yeah. Our first guest for tonight is Michelle Lim representing Singapore and Yunhee Park representing Korea at the Mrs. World Peace Pageant 2021 and also joining us tonight, the owner and founder of Mrs. World Peace Pageant, Mrs. Justina Quek. Right. Yes. So we're excited to this two, three beautiful women in one show. So, so let's introduce our guests. Okay, our first guest is um, Mrs. World Peace Singapore 2021, Mrs. Michelle Lee. Right. And then... Our Miss next you. guest, yeah, our next guest is Mrs. World Peace Korea 2021, Yoni Park. Hi. And, and of course, course, of course, the founder and the owner of Mrs. World Peace 2021, Miss Justina Craig. Hello, hi everyone. Hi. Welcome back, Miss Justina. Hi. Yeah. So. Yeah, let's start with uh, Miss uh, Yoni Park. Can you can you greet our viewers? Hi. Uh, good afternoon. Good night. Or oh, how, how do I say? <laughs> good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good, afternoon. Hello. Oh, good yeah, morning good in the world. Anyong sayo. Anyong sayo. Anyong sayo. This is uh, Yoni Park from South Korea. I will be represent South Korea for the World Peace 2021. Okay, so and welcome course, to Ganap TV. Yeah, welcome to Ganap TV. And of course, uh, Mrs. Singapore, Michelle Lim, can you greet our viewers? <laughs> um, hi guys, thanks for joining us tonight and thank you so much for you guys um, having us tonight as well. It's a pleasure. Um, like they said and introduced, I'm Michelle. I'm also the winner of Mrs. Singapore Worldwide 2016. And I'll be re representing Singapore um, in the coming year in Mrs. World Peace 2021. Okay, so we're excited to hear a lot, uh, something from you tonight and what's in store uh, to the Mrs. World Peace 2021. So so we'll, let's start our questions with Miss Yoni Park. So. Tell us about yourself and what you've been doing and, um, you know, what kept you busy during the lockdown and what's your plan in the future? Um, me, um, I, I have two children, one boy, one girl. So um, daytime usually busy with the children, but uh, I have a lot of hobbies. The one is um, flowers, like uh, flowers. Wow. So you make them yourself? Yes, I do. That's good. That's great. That's At least you're doing something. So you're selling it also? Yes. This is oh, my side great. business. Oh, that's nice. And then I also like a painting. Mm -hmm. uh, I do oil painting. So this one or so someone, you know, order for me. For them, then I I I painting for them. So, wow, you're so creative. Yeah, I like this kind of uh, uh, art, creative things. The beautiful, mm -hmm. things. basically, I like a beautiful things. That's great. That's great. So, about Miss um, Singapore, Miss Michelle Lim. So, what keep you busy, and what are you doing during the lockdown, and what's your plan in the future? Um, so, um, lockdown in Singapore is basically called the circuit breaker, as you guys know from the news, I think. <laughs> Our name is a bit special. So, um, during the circuit breaker, I'm an essential worker, so I actually still had to go back to the office uh, every now and then, uh, because we deal in baby products, basically. Uh, but other than that, I'm, I'm quite grateful for the, the lockdown period, because it gave me so much more time um, with my kids, like, which I would normally not uh, would have because you know I'm a full-time working mom and a single parent so time with my kids is really uh, sparse so we like to like uh, bake 
and cook together and do lots of hands-on activities. Um, we couldn't go out to really walk because social distancing and stuff, you know. Uh, but it was okay. The time, quality time is, you know, it's still, it's still the best thing you can have with children. Um, for the future wise, um, I think I'm really excited to grow in this, uh, in the pageant world, but, um, my daytime job is also a marketing executive. So I'm also excited to grow in that area. I have so many hobbies, just like uni. Um, I'm dancing, um, also a bit of drawing, but more, uh, reading as well. And I try to exercise in my free time with the kids sometimes. So I have lots of stuff to do. Okay. So do you think that this um, pandemic or lockdown has um, made a positive inf impact to your family, to your relationship with your children? Um, I definitely think so. And, and that's why I said I'm, I'm so, so grateful for this uh, three-month uh, lockdown that we had because I could explore things with them, which I normally would never have. I have the time because once you end work it's like you have two or three hours to them basically and the two off days that you have a week and it, it's not enough to be honest and um having all that extra 24 hour 24 7 hours with them it was i i got to know them better as a person i had more time to just sit down hey you know like do you want to talk to mommy about something and i think it made me grow as a mom you mean you know, besides my day job you know my other side jobs i think I think this was very enriching and, and I, I, I totally loved it. How about you, Yoni? Actually, they, that's very true. First time, you know, uh, lock, lockdown. Then there was a quite shock, you know, what we're gonna, what we, what we gonna do at home. Then a little bit of a panic, but it turns, it's a great. Um, we don't really have time, you know, spend the, with the family that long time. Then only focus can only can focus family. There's uh, it's like on, and, and it's not one two three days. It's a three months. So mm -hmm. uh, those three months, I realized this is a really collect time to spending with the family, only family, and then focus on the, the this you know uh, uh, my small family. That was great time. But of course, you know we worry about not only happy at home. We need to worry about the future. I know what's going on, you know, tomorrow, I mean, next year, you know, it's financially, is it okay? And then economically, is, you know, what, what's going to happen in the, not in, only in, at home or um, our country where we stay, it's a worldwide problem, pandemic situation. So it's, it is, it is, um, it is hard to be, keep in positive, but... Yes. But it's, you know, I found out it's the very important we keep positive together. Yeah, so um, that's why I was actually decided to join in this world, world peace uh, next year. Yeah, I want to give some, you know, uh, positive um, messages to the people. So, okay, thank you so much for that. And so I would like to know what, um, what preparation you're doing during this time, um, especially mm -hmm. now that you are um, represented, uh, representing your countries to the Mrs. World Peace. So mm -hmm. what preparation do you do since um, I think this is going to be um, in digital. Uh, I yeah. think Miss um, Justina is going to be an online competition, right? Yes. For so sure. Yes. Do you it's, think, um, it's a virtual pageant. Okay. Yeah. So... When will this gonna happen? Um, we are trying to uh, uh, start on uh, you know mid of February to the end okay. of February. It will be a two weeks pageants. We're trying to uh, invite about thirty country to fifty country, thirty to fifty. I think thirty could be uh, easily we can achieve. So, but we try to get as much country to participate in Mrs. World Peace, you see. Because mm -hmm. for Mrs. World Peace, like what Yoni say, because it's a, our first pageant. In fact, because of the lockdown in Singapore mm -hmm. and also the borders has been still very tight, um, uh, our Mrs. Uh, our biggest uh, pageant is uh, Mrs. Worldwide uh, and also Mrs. Global Universe will be, we are actually targeting on uh, next year in Singapore in mm. somewhere around August to October. Mm. And for so maybe Singapore, yeah. during that time, we're going to have already a face-to-face, -face, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, you know, we keep our finger crossed. 
Yes. So, but uh, you know, we, we are targeting for Mrs. Worldwide. I think Mizi will be sending a representative as well. Yeah. Uh, during the grand planning will be during August to October. And for Mrs. Global Universe, we'll be uh, targeting in October to December, somewhere around this time. And uh, but well, from now to you know October, that is very quiet. There's no you know, so and uh, the borders will not be open you know for among all the world. Right? That's why I decided to create uh you know another international pageant called Mrs. World Peace. And this pageant, this Mrs. Mrs. World Peace title has already been trademarked, uh, especially in Philippines. So okay. well, I think it's good to start a, a virtual contest whereby we can try it out and um, you know and also this virtual contest we, uh, contest we are trying to uh, challenge uh, our in our pageantry industry because we are going to have the same things the uh, evening gown segment the national costume segment the talent house segment and the Q&A segment so it might be you know ima- I mean it, it may, imagine it might it might be difficult because it's only virtual but you know, based on my law of attractions, I think it will be happens. Yeah, and um, and it will be happens, and uh, and it will be connecting all the ladies together because ultimately, for ladies who would, would like to join a beauty pageant, they want to meet up with all the friends. You see, they would like to have more friends from all over the world. But how are we going to connect them using the internet? You know, to network them together and make them, you know, feel that uh. You know, attach yeah. each other, and uh, it's yeah. not easy. But I think I can make it because Yoni and Michelle, do you still remember during our business worldwide? I before the one month, I already connect all the ladies inside the group chat. Do you still yeah. remember? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, that is a miracle happened when when all the ladies with the positive mindset and has been put up together, they become friends, even during the yeah. one the groups. Yes. Yeah. Um, here in the Philippines, um, the Mrs. Um, Queen of Hearts yeah. Um, yeah. virtual pageant was directed by Bench. Ben. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. it's uh, it's really easy for him because all he has to do is like you know tell them okay you do this you do your uh, Q and A you do your um, your um, introduction video. Yes, all they need to do is just send all this. Yeah. And then they're just going to edit. Ben will just edit everything and compose <laughs> the whole budget in one. That's why. Video. That's why when yeah. Ben comes with the ideas, I found it's kind of yeah, it's kind of challenging because you know sometimes the inter- internet connection is not you know working well. So that's why some of the talents are having a hard time. Uh, like submitting their uh, videos on time. So, but you know, we, we always need them. Uh, yeah, yeah. And during that time, it was really locked down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And during that time, it's very really good locked job down. On that. Yeah. Uh, bench, bench, uh, bench. Uh, did a very good job on that because I saw the video and he sent me the link. Yeah. That's why. He Thank you so much. The, yeah. the confidence, you know. And when I I watched the Miss Earth. You know the, the digital yeah. badges. It gave me more confidence, and immediately after the grand final for Miss Up, I decided to <laughs> start the virtual badges. I mean, since well, you know, at this, at this, you know, at this moment, we can do something that is different. And um, in fact, uh, I face uh, much difficulties in convincing my national directors to uh, send their representative for Mrs. Wolfis in the beginning. But right now, I think uh, because, because you know, if, if you know that I, I'm, I'm in this uh, pageantry industry for almost three to four years, we have so many beauty training from the past four years, you know, from 2016, 17, 18, until now is 2020. So I received very much support from my past year, a beauty queen country. So they actually come in, you know, and uh, some of my national director, they supported me. Before that, there was like, you know, in the beginning, there was like, no, Justina, don't do no digital pageants, you see. But after they, they see how I manage and how I uh, get the crowd, you know, how I uh, 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 manage the whole thing, like the crowd design and also the tropic yeah. design, they decided to support me and, and get the representative. Yeah. And it will be more convenient, I think, for the 
candidate because they don't spend that much because they don't have to travel. Yeah, <laughs> All yeah, they have yeah. to do is just like, you know, do their own videos and everything. I think um, that will be more convenient for them. Although, um, of course, people will always love to have those live events. So anyway, yeah. how about Miss Yoni? Yes. Um, what preparation you're doing for the pageant since it's going to be sometimes like February. I think that's too soon. So yeah. uh, you already have like questions and answer, Q&A portion, the, the evening the, dance. Actually, um, I don't know. I don't, uh, I don't do specially for this one, but um, my, I usually, you know, I believe I believe that best investment is uh, for yourself. So that is I try to do every day daily life. So I try to show what I'm doing now, like you know what I'm focus my painting, maybe my flower art, art things, and then um, my new challenge is uh, singing these days. Actually, I cannot sing, but I uh, I you know I try something I really bad at that is a singing so i'm trying that one so some ideas that maybe there's a talent now then i can maybe sing it so um this one is as a peasant peasant is i've been like a few peasant but every time i'm not focused on winning i just focus enjoying the journey and then yeah. another thing is that challenge myself i'm, I'm not challenged to anybody but challenge to myself i want to overcome something I cannot do and then I afraid of and then some of you know comfort zone I want to jump out and then you know um life is challenging yes <laughs> that is uh, you know what I want to do yeah how about but, Michelle uh, yeah uh, my question for uh Yoni uh, is there any challenge for you for uh joining this pageant since it's a virtual so is there any like um, problem with uh, the upcoming activities? Um, it's the first time. I, I don't know what's gonna be, but you know, um, now is is actually we already experiences uh, you know the uh, uh, what is it the uh, lockdown. What we can do is all online actually, studying, dancing, yoga, singing. Wow. Everything is need to be the online. The first time panic, you know, I have a two children. They studying on, you know, um, at, at home with the online. Then slowly we realize it can, it, can, it is uh, a little bit inconvenient, but it can, it can work. Yeah, yeah. So Actually, why not, why not for the present? So I know it can work. I know it, it will be okay. I know. Yeah. So now I'm gonna throw the questions to Michelle. So what preparation you've been doing lately for the event? And also uh, the question of um, bench. Um, is there any uh, challenge with you since this is a virtual competition? Um, I think um, my approach is slightly different. Uh, it's not so much the physical preparation, I think it's the mental preparation more that I've been not really doing, but I've been doing it all along. It's pretty similar to uni, but I use different platforms. So I'm a little bit of a social media person, and I did not grow up in Singapore. I grew up in the Netherlands, actually. And um, what a lot of my friends share with me, like because of this coronavirus and because of the, the whole situation currently, um, people have been ostracized actually and like when they see an Asian person they're like oh like you're you go back to China like I I think it's just it's not right to have this kind of mindset and th this is where the whole world piece is like you can't achieve it if you can't improve yourself so we have to start improving from ourselves in order to achieve peace we achieve peace with ourselves and then with our friends and then you know and then the circle just grows bigger so it's kind of giving love and passing it on and on so that we don't have this like, um, you know, unhappiness and say, oh, because you're from Asia, it must be that the corona came from there. And like, and then there were people like beaten up, they were smashed, they were called out names and it's terrible. I know because I lived in Europe 
even without corona time and i was already bullied like bullied every single day i was so afraid to go to school so now what now even more and what the world needs now is more love more support from each other instead of like pushing each other down so i think that is one step to world peace but besides world peace um this is world peace is also about women's rights so everything is kind of infused together I'm very strong for women's rights and I want to make it clear to people so that women's rights does not equal to feminism mm -hmm. because I've walked this path with my mom twice with broken marriages, my own broken relationships, but it doesn't mean we have to give up. And then again, it's better, you know, the question of love comes in and how to have peace with each other. So it's all just one big story, which I've been carrying all along, especially on my Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, I always talk about my childhood and, and share my experiences and how I learned from it and that um, even though I came out from that kind of childhood, like I said, I don't hate my bullies. It made me grow, but I hope that other people can grow over from their experience and just, you know, that they have to take things in their stride. But on the other hand, it's also nice to receive support as well. So I think it's very crucial, all these factors during this, this period of time. And I mean, we're all Asians, right? So I think you kind of know what I'm, where I'm coming from when, yes. you know, the Western people are like, oh, you know, like, very much. Like, don't go that near to them. Yeah. So I think we need to have that spirit. And in terms of that, uh, I think I, just like you and me, I, I feel like I have to challenge myself each and every day. Even when I did my very first pageant, I was like, I don't know, I don't think maybe I, I won't win. Like, but, but I'm really enjoying the process. And, and like, just as I mentioned early on, uni was in my batch. And I, I'm you still, you know, in contact with, yeah, I, <laughs> we love each other so much. And, and it's all thanks to the pageant that we got together. Because of the pageant, we might never have met. So I think building the relationship was, was, yeah, it was so amazing. And I would never give that up. It was a huge step for me because I used to be a very shy person. So, yeah. yeah. We are totally agree with you, Miss uh, Michelle, regarding the... Because until now, there's still a discrimination when it comes to, you know, for Asian uh, men and women. But, you know, we, we just need to keep pushing on <laughs> to fight for our right. And, you know, because we are, you know, we are all a human being and, uh, you know, we are all talented. So that's why uh, uh, for me, joining this pageant is one of the best uh, platform to, you know, to show your advocacy. Bench, joining the pageant. Are you part of the pageant? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> I mean, for uh, like, for uh, Miss Michelle and Uni, you know, it's a big help for them to, you know, to show their advocacy. Yeah. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just kidding. So to make it so, you're all serious. Anyway, so I just want to find out, um, Miss um, Justine, Justina, regarding this Miss World Peace, because um, Miss uh, Michelle already talking about like you know world peace and something. Is this exactly. is there something to do about that? Yeah, because because right now, uh, as what I say, um, okay, for, for maybe I can answer some of the questions about their preparations. Because for Michelle and Yoni, they have been with me for almost three years. So three years going to four years. So basically, the preparation right now is the uh, mentally. Mentally. Because for talent round, um, of course, they have their own talents, which is they maybe wanted to brush it, you know, practice more which is they have, which is they were not uh, disclosed right now. And as for the rest of it, because for the pageants, it's usually Q&A and also uh, evening gowns and national costumes. So for them, they are well prepared for all this. But uh, the, the, the only thing things they, they want to prepare themselves is their, uh, their, 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 their well-being. Because everything has been uh, mind in the mind, is it? Is how are they going to present it well you know, uh, during the contest. Mm -hmm. yeah. As for World Peace, um, it come up in my mind for this, because uh, actually three years ago, I already got this this title, as they say, I already registered for this title. It's only that because we are so busy with business worldwide and business global universe and also business Asia Pacific and other international pageants. And, uh, you know, last year, it was actually my dream last year, you know, twenty. One night, we were our most busiest year, am I right? On things, so I tell myself, 2020, I need to slow down. 
I never know that I have I, I, I'll get this wish so fast and it has been so slow down. You know, <laughs> yeah, so slow down that I have nothing to do at home. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, that's why I, I I decided to do world peace. And for world peace, it's a bit different because. We were going to prepare all the sash for all the country delegate. Right now, I think tomorrow or Monday, we'll be distributed to uh, some of the country. Uh, in fact, South Africa and Africa's uh, sash was ready, but we are unable to mail over to South Africa and, uh, and, uh, uh, and Africa because due to the, the COVID. And, uh, but Monday, I will distribute all the sash to the country representative. So when they received the uh, the sash because our budget is going to be a bit different, yeah. So once they receive the sash, I will want them to do ch ch the charity work. Yeah, just give me a while. Let me let me close. Uh... Okay, so while we're waiting to um, Justina, I want to have this challenge for both our candidates, yes. Miss uh, <laughs> Korea and Miss Singapore since you're both friends together, and I want you to ask questions for each other. Yeah. So, <laughs> since we're just doing it. some mental exercise here, so uh -huh. I want to take this challenge for both of you. Yeah. So, we'll so, feel so, the, so, answers. Yeah. So, the yes. questions will be like this. Uh, if there's one question you wanted to ask to, like, to me is, uh, Yoni, what is that and why? Yeah. If I yeah. want something, I can I can do to you. What is Go to it? yes. Yeah. Oh. Why is that question? Yeah. What is that question, and why did you ask that question? <laughs> <laughs> so this is the challenge for you guys. <laughs> okay. At least the questions will not be coming from us. <laughs> <laughs> why? Uh, why this? Why the peasant is important to be heard? Peasant. Why peasant uh, is uh, important to you? Michelle, can, will, are you ready to answer the question? <laughs> answer. My brain juice. Why? Pageant important to me? Oh, because of you and Justina? For, no, just, I mean, besides <laughs> that, um, that's the right answer, right? Anyway, so um, I, I, I decided, I've always wanted to do Miss Singapore when I was much younger and before I was married. I never got a chance to, and I regret it so much. And I found out that this platform actually gave me a different kind of a voice when I speak to people. Like, like, I don't like you don't get a title and a crowning like you just put it there on the shelf and then let it collect dust. No, I use that title because like because I think it's a platform where I can really not just speak to women but people in general, like to really bring um certain topics forward, which maybe some I wouldn't say like ordinary people, but like maybe some people that are just like, you know, normal every day, but like I can use this title for good. It's mm -hmm. not just a platform to be pretty on or pretty I mean, it's a bonus point, but it's kind of secondary. So that's why pageantry is so important to me. And this is a way I can voice out things and not yeah. and come out of my introverted shell. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Now it's your turn to ask <laughs> me. <Ooh>. Maria. <laughs> <laughs> um, This is so difficult. <laughs> easy question, please. Easy question. Easy question, please. Easy question. Okay, here it comes. Here it comes. It's something I always wanted to talk to you about. Um, I find that you are very um, a joyful and a very meaningful and very strong woman. Mm -hmm. What? I find that, but what do you think makes you a strong woman? Uh, okay, um, actually that is uh, my mother. Uh, my mother was a very typical Korean woman. She just uh, all sacrificed herself, just raise, I mean, raise children. We have uh, eight children. I'm a baby, youngest. 
And I all have seen what mommy, what my mother have done for my family. And it's so much love. And then she, she just all sacrificed herself. Then actually she passed away a few years ago. Then um, I grown up. And then, you know, people say, Yoni, you are beautiful. Yoni, do I, this is good. Then, um, okay, I, I shared this one incident. And when I was young, me and my mom, we entered, uh, you know, a small shop near my house, uh, near my uh, town. Then the shop, shopper, surprise. Is this your daughter? Is this your mother? Surprise, why? Because my mom always make me so pretty. My mom never take her herself. So it doesn't match, you know? So that one is a little bit shocked to me. Why, why my mom always give to all to me? So anyway, there's many, many, many this happen because my mom is that kind of person. So I grown up, I become mother. I mean, and anyway, I grown up adult. I realized, you know, uh, my self is so important because, because it doesn't mean because I'm uh, better than any others. Because my mother lays me, she sacrificed herself, uh, gave birth me, and then lays me up like this, like this. So I, I think it's, you know, I have to have a, a fulfilled and then a meaningful life to return to my mother. This is what uh, the best thing I can do, and and then she will be happy if I be happy. That's why I every day I try to my best to be happy. <laughs> this is my return to my mother. Is the answer? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that makes her strong woman because yeah. of her mother. Mm -hmm. What she saw from her mother that makes her more stronger. Because more stronger uh, woman today. That her mother gave to her daughter is so it's the same thing that she also wants to um, give in return to her children because she can't return that to her mother anymore because her mother is dead right so what she did now is you know um return that um, for to her so let's go back to the Justina. so <laughs> what are you going to show us? I, I want to, I want to show, is it alright that I can show the video of the crown over here? Okay. Is it alright? Yeah. Wow, that's so nice. I love the crown. Wow, I love it. It's so beautiful. Yeah. So, so I think every uh, all the candidates are excited to to wear that crown. The crown. Yeah. And I always say that it's not the crown. You should not wear the crown on your head. It should be on your heart. Yes. So can we ask our our Miss Singapore and Miss Michelle and uh, Miss Yoni of Miss World your message to our viewers? Thank you so much for you know coming to our show and we're so grateful and honored to have you both because you are so talented and you're so intelligent, both of you. And I know uh, in advance that we already congratulated. Yeah. And you deserve yes. to have a crown. So to win. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So let's so, start with Miss Yoni Park. What is your message to all of our viewers? A message, okay. Um, Thank you so much for having me tonight, and then hopefully I can I, I, I can see you again for some sure. reason. soon. <laughs> soon. <laughs> okay. How about Miss Singapore, Michelle? Uh, so once again, thanks for having all of us tonight. Uh, it was a real pleasure. And um, we hope you'll be watching our virtual pageant in February. I am really excited for it. I hope you guys are excited for us as well. Um, also stay tuned and hopefully we can meet on online platforms like social media. So if you want to follow, let's follow each other. You know? yeah. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, very much. Thank you. Thanks for everything, Bench. I know you are in the middle of your, you know, the the events. But, uh, yeah. you know, I'm actually at the 
uh, I left uh, in the venue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Both are my pageants, you see. Even uh, busy is also my Philippines and my, you know. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much and nice to meet you, Miss Michelle and Yoni Park. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you and God bless. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Singa. Congratulations. Thank you, John. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so thank much. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye-bye, bye-bye.